and welcome everybody here on Twitch Chats and everybody on YouTube as well for some Teamer Walkers to start off our 12-hour uh, rank up stream today. We got five decks that we're going to be playing over here in Ranked. And then we have a pretty cool looking Demir Mill donation deck to do as well. Uh, but for now, we're going to be playing Ranked because it's been a, been a little while. Um, and we're starting with the deck that we did really well with in the, with the competitive metagame challenge. And a deck that looked um, that took that looked just really, really strong at that point. So that's going to be our first deck of the day here. Uh, before we get to it, I should probably uh, mention brand new Patreon, which um, just started yesterday. I'll put a link there in Twitch chat, but there's also a link uh, down below if you're watching on YouTube, where I'm going to be putting um, written content over there and sideboard guides and stuff. And uh, as you notice, I have no stream tomorrow, but to, what one thing I'm going to do tomorrow morning is I'm going to uh, make a sideboard guide for this deck here for Teamer Walkers, because I know there's a lot of y'all playing that. So that'll be available on Patreon tomorrow morning. I wanted to get it done today, today, but with it being a 12-hour stream, I just had a lot to do before the stream, so I didn't get to today. So I'll do that tomorrow morning. Um, but what this deck's all about, it's all about um, skipping turn like our, our two mana play. Like we want to have a Bordel Grazer and Gilded Goose on turn one and go straight to our three mana walkers on turn two, ideally. And we activate the, these Planeswalkers, gain value from, from the Planeswalkers, and set it up where we can uh, drop a Sarkin, the Masterless, and have Sarkin do a lot of damage to our opponent with having all these Planeswalkers that are hopefully keeping our opponent's battlefield in check. So that's what our deck's all about. Um, you know, pretty straightforward there. Um, no, this is not a Fires of Invention deck, because Fires of Invention, once, like, the, the thing about playing Fires of Invention is you want to play a lot of like four, a lot of five mana cards with Fires of Invention. Because you want to play Fires, play another four drop. The next turn you want to play two five drops. You you know, you want to spend a whole lot of mana still with Fires of Invention. And that's not what this deck's about. This deck's about the three mana walkers and getting three mana on turn two and being able to play these. Um, so no, the Fires of Invention would not work well in this deck. But let's see how this does here. Yeah. So yeah. So since the yeah since the the um, metagame challenge, I cut the one Sahili um, and one Casmina for an extra Royal Scions and an extra Chandra. I'm I kind of I'm I'm skeptical about cutting the one Casmina. I'm not sure if I should just cut the Tamio and still play two Casmina, or if I should play two Paradise Druid and two Casmina. That's like that's that's the one thing that I I didn't I I think getting rid of the Sahili is just fine. And I, and I wanted a third Royal Scions, and I wanted a second Chandra. So it's just where that other card comes from. Whether it's play two Paradise Druid, play two Lava Coil, not play the Tamio. You know, like, so those are other options that I wasn't, I'm not 100% sure on what. Because I kind of wanted the two Kesmina still. But we're going to try just one Kesmina. Do you think I should cut a, a Paradise Druid? I'm just worried... I'm just worried about not doing anything on turn one or turn two too often if we don't have a Paradise Druid. But that was my first my first instinct was to cut a Paradise Druid, to be honest, because of how little we actually use Paradise Druid. That, that was my first instinct. That's what I did. But then, you know, kind of looking at it more, I was a little worried about um, just like the 10 cards for like turn one, turn two the, to be using. But I'm I'm perfectly fine with that. We'll go ahead and do that. Because that was my first instinct. All right, let's play some ranked. Let's see how it does here with two Kasmina. So I will replace that. Um, yeah, if if you don't have Mu Yanling, then you can just replace Mu Yanling. Like you could place a Healy instead of Mu Yanling. Um, you know, it's worse, but you know, like that that is a replacement. Um, you can also play. Um, you know, from this list, you could play like play that third Paradise Druid, and then play, you know, like one one Sahili, or play a fourth Royal Scions, or play a third Narset. You know, you just just add in some extra numbers, of some cards that are in the deck. It's always a, a good idea. All 
So unfortunately, we don't have the untapped green, but this is not going to be a mulligan for us. That guy's trying to bat my phone off of the desk. I think I need to just keep Oko. It's just, Oko's too good. Yeah, I mean, Jeskai Super Friends is also a deck. Um, you know, it would it'd be a lot more controlling. You wouldn't have, like, the mana accelerants to, for, like, turn two, playing your Planeswalkers and everything. But, yeah, you'd be a lot more on Clarion and, and so on. And, and that kind of deck could take better advantage of Fires of Invention if that's a card that you're interested in playing. Um... I'm going to just lead with Paradise Druid also. This means that I'm probably going to discard a Boreal Grazer to, like, cast Mina Minusing, and we do the draw discard. I'm probably just going to be discarding a Boreal Grazer. Okay, or not. I will invert the world to watch kings grovel. Gaze into my face and put on your true shape. Oko is pretty good. Oko is pretty good. You're blind to your folly. Open your heart to the magic that dances around you. Surely you must be famished. So I can kill their Sarkin. Or sorry, sorry, I can kill their Oko <clears throat> by playing Sarkin and ticking up and making Grazer a 3-3 also. And, and then I have Paradise Druid back to block. Let us fight. I guess I could... I guess I can just keep the Grazer back to block. Your new look is enchanting. I will call the dragons. Well, this is my cue to exit. Oh yeah, that works out. That works out. Yep, gotta kill the Oko. Ooh, anybody got some help for Scouter there? Fabro with infinite mana. That looks pretty interesting. I'll have to check that out later. Um, Listen to them roar. I'm I'm definitely worried about my opponent having another questing beast. My prowess is on meditate and prepare. Hmm. Like if some if something dies, I can have Tamio bring it back. Your end 
has arrived. We're gonna just keep a four four available to to block a questing beast. Gone. <clears throat> um. Yeah, you need to supplant royal scions. Uh, just more. You can just play more Narset, more Mu Yanling, Sahili. That's another option there. Yeah, we use Tamiya's plus, for sure. It's... It's not the most reliable, but yeah, Tamiya's plus does does a good job of, like, finding Sarkin, in particular. I will consume you! Oh, I must stay focused! Like the phases of the moon. Life waxes and wanes. To the library. Uh, I guess I could have said lava coil. Um, so I can attack. If I make this a 3-3, three, three, attack for 12, 14, 17, put them down to 3. I invite you to change your way. Then I, I have no defense whatsoever. Maybe I should just attack for 12 and have some defense. Do that. Defense is good. Oh, that's awesome, Blisco. Do you mean like the Esper one? I think you mean. Hey, Artivan. So yeah, I could attack for another five there. Put them down to three. But now they cannot kill Sarkin. Come on. And so now Sarkin kills them. Alright, so Simic. We saw main deck disdainful stroke. Speaking of Disdainful Stroke, I kind of want to play that card, counter um, Questing Beast. Could also get Wicked Wolf, Nyssa, if they have Krasis. I think that's... So that's the card out of all these that I want to play. I don't think we need a fourth coil, but I don't really want to cut more coils. We saw Paradise Druid was pretty important there, that game. On my side, I kind of want to just get rid of, like, the Tamiyo, Kasmina. I want to get rid of the things that are easily Disdainful Stroked. Make it so they only have six targets for Disdainful Stroke, because Chandra doesn't get countered. Maybe I play the fourth coil. It's either third stroke, fourth coil, or Casmina. I don't think I want Vela Summer. I'll play Casmina. We'll go to Disdainful Stroke. Hey, Necrolepsy, good morning. <laughs> Yay, Kaysons. Yep. Yeah, we're going a little early today, going noon to midnight Eastern time today with our 12 hour stream I do a 12 hour stream here every time that we hit um, 20 total sub goals I mean while these cards are good I'm worried about that being too slow on, especially on the draw, you know, like 
If we're on the play, I think I could maybe try keeping that. But if we're on the draw, if they have if they have like one drop and they have turn two Oko, and then I don't have I only have turn three Oko on the draw. That's just not that's not gonna work. I mean turn three Oko on the draw against turn two Oko. Alright, well they got me. That hurts, obviously, because I was planning on playing Royal Scions the next turn, looting away the Grazer. I mean, honestly, I could have just not played Grazer still. But Grazer's good to have him play for Oko. No lands. I mean it. If I would have just kept the first hand, I think we would have been, we would have won, or at least we would have been fine because you know like they just have like these fight spells over here, but I don't, you know I don't have, um, I don't have creatures with that first hand. I would have just had, you know, my planeswalkers would have had a, a lava coil. I don't think I had a lava coil though. Um, no, like. Basically, Sangriel, the angels all rotated out of standard, you know, most all the angels with uh, the ones that were really a part of the angels decks with Resplendent Angel, Shalai, and Lyra. So they rotated out. Um, and even besides that, Oko is making life hard on playing. Four and five mana creatures. Yeah, that's where the, the white cards all rotated out. Yeah, they. I appreciate yeah, Selesnya could definitely use help, but especially. What is my strategy here? Um. Get rid of Mu Yanling. Especially white, just in general. My answers lie in the cold truth. You see the humor here. Because Disdainful Stroke is a is a card that counters basically everything that you want to counter against the Golos deck. It just it counters the creatures and the ramp spells, you know, like Circuitous Route um, and the creatures, and you know, hits Circuitous Route, Golos, Agent of Treachery. Hydro Crisis, it just kind of hits everything. Let me synthesize the facts. Gosh. Um. <laughs> Why do we have to discard one of these, Hawkeye? Well 
Welcome to the feast. I didn't, yeah, I didn't get to, to look too closely at it, Rex. Um, but yeah, that, that looked, uh, but yeah, I, I, I just, I saw that it had like some counter magic and, and counter magic is very well positioned right now. And I think that's what, that's a big thing that I should have done with the Demir deck was play more counter magic. So are they playing Veil of Summer? I will protect Mystical the dispute. All right, so Royal Silence can kill the Nissa this next turn. The land shall conquer you. We practiced a new combination. I look shocked and shattered. <clears throat> These were. <laughs> These were all the cards that I wanted to discard earlier. Not those not those planeswalkers. I lead the way, but my brother mm, a quest of mystery. Still keeping one land in hand to discard next turn. on your true shape definitely thought about exchanging and taking paradise druid from them give you know give them a food take paradise druid i guess i could have gave them grazer so i was thinking like the food would still give them oko or kill the goose I, you know basically like i'm the reason why i'm holding back again is is questing beast that's the thing that i'm kind of worried about there Let me synthesize the food. Chandra's good. Let's make this quick. I've got other things to burn. Hmm. Let's make some more room to fight in. Oh dear. Yeah, I guess I could attack with the food. Sure, it's three damage. Does that really matter? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think we're gonna win this because our opponent's at seventeen instead of at twenty. I don't think that's something that really matters. But I guess. Could have been better. To know is to triumph. It's not poison. Trust me. Stay back. I'm an explosively good pyromancer. I've got a burning desire to finish you. Let's get toasty. Chandra, pretty good. Having two Chandra, even better. Yeah, the Esper artifact deck isn't, you know, it's it's not one of like the best decks in the in the format or anything, but it's a fun deck to play. 
also yeah like it's you get to do a lot of cool stuff with um you know mystic forge and ugin and tezzeret and everything like that Uh, I don't I don't know anything about that lemon. Yeah, I don't I don't know anything about that. I don't think they changed anything about how Witch's oven works on here. All right, so we got a we got to win in a you know, semi mirrorish type match. Uh, sure. Turn for Chandra. Yeah, you know, we'll see what we draw into, but you know, starting with a couple of geese, you can do worse than that. <laughs> Storm, you lost your sub. Huh. Storm, you just had it. You just said like something like twenty seconds ago, and you had a, a tie. Now you don't. Oh, there you go. Now it's back. For some reason, that last message you said you didn't have a tie, and now it's back. That was weird. <laughs> that was weird. Thanks, Harambe. <laughs> the goose stole my tie. All right, so it looks like we got some Bant Golos going on over here. I would like to draw any card in our deck that costs less than five mana. There we go. That'll do. Oh, what? What is going on? Okay, like the auto tap was gonna use was gonna use my geese. I'm certain I would have been bad. To meet me. One bite, and all your <laughs> that was I panicked there for a little bit. No, because like gilded goose is a really important card to have early, and I don't think the the keep was too risky. I think it was. I think it was just fine. So this is the strength of having Planeswalkers, though. Is they don't get uh, cast I off. I invite you to change your ways. There's a probably a better word to use "cast off" as a verb. Glad they played that before Realm Cloak Giant. So my two options are either have Chandra kill the Krasis or 
um, turn the Krasis into a 7-7, but not have Trample, and then just chump block the Krasis with Gilded Goose. I think because of time... But then if, if I do the other, then we get to give them a second emblem and start, you know, giving them a lot more emblems. We'll do that. The, the problem here is time wipe. No pressure. Picking the Krasis back up. Gaze into my face and put on your true shape. I want to give them more emblems, though. Hey, Shane, I'm doing really good. I can't I can't exchange a four four. You know, to exchange a creature it has to be smaller. I guess I could have played Grazer to block. Well, looks like we don't really need to worry too much about Realm Cloaked Giants now. Um, sure. too hot for you. I assure you our deal is worth your while. Could have turned the beanstalk giant into a 3-3. Three, three. I'm going to get another blocker this way, though. Right. That thing doesn't die. I kind of forgot about that. I honestly forgot about that. What's up, Pickle Slick? Thanks for the resub there. Half a year. You're playing with fire here. Kind of forgot about that. Let's broaden your existence. Should have turned that into a 3-3 last turn. I have practiced to keep an open mind. If I take the Sarkin, they have enough power to kill all three of my Planeswalkers, so taking the Sarkin means all my Planeswalkers would be dead. I need to hopefully draw a land here to be able to play this other Chandra. I really messed that up. This isn't a fight you the previous turn, I really messed that up. No, 
I am not making <laughs> by not go. turning that giant into an elk. Come on, draw land. Your new look is enchanting. So obviously, if we draw a land, we would just we would have been able to wipe the board, and we likely win. I probably have. I mean, I have one more turn. They only have 19 power here. protect you. I don't know. According to them, it's a good game. Yeah, it's going to gain him too much life. I made that one really big mistake with the giant, so that's definitely my fault. unfortunate. Throw away a game that I should have won. Oh well. Gotta just work on our next games. Um, I'd rather have negate over the other Mu Yanling or Tamiyo. No. We'll go with this. Hey, what's up, team? Yep, got another 12-hour stream today. Well, I should have I had that game. I made that one crucial misplay. And sovereign and gaze into my face. Go, Grazer, go. On your true shape. <laughs> Thanks, Storm. Yeah, this is a fun deck to play, though. That is true. Okay. Present and future put thoughtfulness before action. I think a little merriment is in order. We could have lethal next turn. No, we can't. Never mind. Never mind. It's not lethal. Oh, 
shown your prowess. I kind of don't want to show them flame sweep. I'm pretty sure we got this one. Never mind. Let's broaden your existence. They're playing the gate, huh? Not too expected there. No, my, my opponents played a land every turn, but we, we had the Grazer, so we, we played an extra land because of the Grazer. going to game three, even though we should have won game one. I don't think I play Vela Summer. Just going to keep it. You know, that's what we want. We want turn two. We want a three mana planeswalker on turn two. Ugh. We're just missing the planeswalkers. If I, yeah, like, if that was, like, a game one, I would have kept that, that hand, but, but I don't know about, I don't know. I wanted to look for something better. Hey, excerpts, yeah. You're here right away. Ugh. Where Oko at? Looks like our opponent's got a pretty loaded hand this time. No route, no route, no route. Ugh. And this time they have the six lands and I have two. Yeah, honestly, this could have gone a lot better if I would have kept the first hand. It's possible. I either start looting with Scions or play the Tamiyo and dig. Quest of mystery. Yeah, ri yeah. Risen Reef. I mean, Risen Reef isn't. It's not that Risen Reef is too slow and gets O'Goed. It's the other, the Cavaliers. You know, like you really want to play like the Cavaliers with Risen Reef, and the the, the Cavaliers getting O'Goed is the the real problem
Well, that's gonna... That's gonna probably do it. Let us plan for the trials ahead. Yeah, excerpts. There's there's not really a queue for donation decks. You can you can just tell me any any day, any time slot that you want. I don't really have a queue for donation decks. There's I, I have just a couple fight. written down to do. Like I have two to do on Saturday. Um, I have one to do any day, and that's it. Those three. So so I don't I don't have like a a written down queue or anything. So you just tell me what day and what time slot you want your donation deck, and you're good. If for some reason there's a problem, I'll let you know, but that's, that's hardly ever the case. I enjoy the proper application of knowledge. Well, this is just a perfect hand by my opponent. Really great ramp, Golos, multiple counter spells. It's not getting any better there. So, like, maybe, um, hey, Miyuk, maybe if I would have kept the first hand, I mean, we were, you know, we would have had to draw really well. But, I mean, this is just, you know, like, they steamrolled me one post board game. I steamrolled them post one post board game, and it was the game one that I threw away. That's the that's the reason we lost that match. I threw away game one, so that's sad. Oh well. One and one. We finally lost with Teamer Walkers. That's the first time I've ever lost with the deck. <laughs> Finally, we'd won our first 13 matches over the last couple of times we played it. First time to lose. All right, let's try to do better. All right, don't quite get to, to turn two because the temple. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Storm. This list is really good. Yeah, we're, all right. So we're playing against Golos again. You know, with that being the Guild Gate, I ditched the Lava Coil. I got a pretty good hand. Kind of same thing as last game. They got six lands already, but they don't have Field of the Dead in play. <laughs> no, I, I basically I meant do better. Yeah, not do better than thirteen and one. I meant do better than that last game I just played. <laughs> Uh, no, I don't have any Dahmer three in this deck. Hmm. What is my strategy here? Agent of Treachery is busted. For the realm. I'll 
shear the wool from your eyes and spin you clarity. Gaze into my face and put on your true shape. They're gonna have a sweeper. I was I was really thinking about turning the Gilded Goose into the three three instead of the My instead of the food. The they just use a they just use a sweeper here. Gonna need like that food. No sweeper. Oh, I don't, I don't know why I didn't play this thing first. Could just gain an extra life. Whatever. Embrace your fear and charge. Oh dear. Oh, we had a sub earlier today. I should update you the sub goal. I thought I was wanting to do Coward. something with that earlier. I forgot to do that. All right, one sub. Let us plan for the trials ahead. No. 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 <laughs> hmm. Our noble path. Alright, so we trade our Paradise Druid for their four creatures and one loyalty. Gonna dig for Sarkin. Every story is an opportunity for hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. Chandra, no. Sarkin? Not Sarkin. It's not poisoned. Trust me. Yeah, we're self controlling pretty good the other day. Um, yeah, it went pretty good overall. Let me synthesize the facts. Yeah, they're trying to keep Royal Scions alive. All right, so their card's better than Time Wipe. Huh. Should be discarded. I'll keep this breeding pool in hand for us to maybe loot away. Let's make this quick. I've got other things to burn. Actually, yeah, maybe I should have started with that. My plan is crystallizing. 
want to play Gilligoose? invite you to change your ways. Glad I can help Retreat with your not as a being pilot on fire strategy. Problem. So certainly considered, you know, like turning the the realm cloak giant into the 3-3. Three, three. Killing it with Chandra. But I want to get there. I want to get that Royal Scions out of here. I don't want them to be able to keep looting. If they get their one card a turn, we're probably going to be fine. Ah, we have got you outnumbered and outsmarted. Where's Sarkin? We got four Sarkins in here. Seek and find. There, Sarkin. All right. So maybe we'll go. Take out the Kasminas, take out the Moo, take out Paradise Druid, and go all the Disdainful Stroke and Flame Sweep. Oh, I don't want these coils. Right, because I want Ashiox instead. I think I, I kept in one Moo and took out and only brought in two Flame Sweep last time. But the Flame Sweeps are probably pretty important. Okay, so we got game one this time. And I'll try to get one of these two post board games. Um, I don't know that card. Four man enchantment. Whenever a creature attacks you or a planeswalker you control, that creature's controller loses one life and you gain one life. Oh man, let's, we gotta draw one more land. But we're on the draw. Yeah, I think that would be a card that wouldn't be too difficult to work around for Field of the Dead. Oh man, I don't have turn two Ashiok. I would have loved to play Ashiok here, as y'all know. Steady your mind, Rowan. Am I willing to know is to triumph? <laughs> so Dark Doves, you have twelve hour stream day. That's a good shift. That's that's my shift too. Twelve hour stream. Uh, they're probably just holding up counter magic now. Mm, a quest of mystery. Would I rather have Ashiok or Spark Double get countered? Possible their counter spell is Disdainful Stroke, which would not hit Ashiok. It's possible it's Negate, which would not hit Spark Double. Could be Mystical Dispute, which hits both. Kind of feel like it's Mystical Dispute how they shocked in and had three up. Pretty sure it's Mystical Dispute. They could have shocked in for Growth Spiral, though. 
Let's go Ashiok. I mean, Ashiok gets worse if you wait on it. It's better early. Well, that's a good Ashiok right there. Go lost to fairy agent of treachery. And get rid of all those. That's that's rude. Like maybe I'm supposed to put Royal Science down to the bottom. <laughs> I should have done the the six. I should have done the six loyalty Ashiok first. Should have done six loyalty Ash Ashiok first. Well, a two two Krasis gets grazered. All right, there's one field. Oh, and planar cleansing. That's important. Our bond was forged in battle. <laughs> hmm. What is my strategy here? I leave you. All right, another crisis gone. Ashiok dead. I, I really, I minus the wrong Ashiok. That other turn. Just a bunch of lands there. I think a little merriment is in order. So one field of the dead, one Golos, one Agent of Treachery, one Krasis. A whole bunch of lands. A whole mess of lands. This might be a bad idea. <laughs> Oko sounds like a jerk. There we go. Ashiok plus Bark Double. It's a good combination. And if I would have just at minus the other Ashiok, could have got another mill in. Would have been even better. No, I don't think Lavinia is a good sideboard card. I've talked about that card. I think Lavinia, you, it's not powerful enough for a sideboard card. Um, it can be, it can be okay if you're playing it in the main deck and you know you want to just a two mana two two that has a little bit of upside, and you know can help trigger things like Hero of Precinct One, but it's not strong enough for a sideboard card.
Yeah, Ashiok proliferate mill win. Hmm. So I need to lead with Goose to be able to cast Narset on two. Um... Is that something that I want to do? Yeah. So we're gonna have Narset look for Oko. Yeah, we only get. Okay, there we go. We only get. Uh, you know, it has to be two different colors of mana, right? So like, that can only be one blue source, which is why. Which is why I need to lead with goose. Honestly, should I just play grazer here? No, I want to play this thing. And yeah, they they kill my. Narset, of course, but that's less damage on me. Perfect. Hey, what's up, Toasted? Uh, so much commotion. Well, Sarkin could be decent. King, wild and sovereign, and oh dear. And then, of course, my plan next turn is to make, you know, play my two grazers and make one of them a 3-3. Three, three. You know, if they have removal for goose and can pump, I guess they don't even have to be able to pump Anorak because Spitter attacks for two. So if they just have removal for goose, they can kill Oko. And that would be the worst case scenario for me. Um, ideally, you know, we draw land. Darn. Ideally, we draw land. We can go double grazer, play a couple lands. But yeah, that's. You are fouler than a fiend, so it's a game you're in. Not good. Meet again, or not? I mean, honestly, maybe I should have just taken one more turn off. You know, not not play Oko last turn, just last turn just play double grazer. Just play double grazer pass, they get to do another attack, and then I play Oko. And I have a lot more blockers. Yeah, and then then I could have at least had Oko turn this Torbran into a two four. Or sorry, turn it into a three three. Sorry. I don't, I don't, like, have. I don't really think I have any, like, way to win this. You know, playing against red decks are tough. It's tough. You know, like, it puts a lot of pressure on you. Make. Make any errors. We begin. To me. You lose. So that's lethal if they attack out now. 
I could handle the battlefield there, but I couldn't handle another haste thing that didn't die too. Sarkin. Because we're going to take three from the Scourge Spitter. I will consume you. Listen to them roar. Come on. <laughs> Listen to them roar. And that puts us down to three, and I can only block two of these. And no matter what I don't block, we die. You got to play the first few turns perfectly against red. And I did not. And lost that one there. All right, cutting one big Chandra, one Kesmina, the Tamiyo, and a Royal Scions. This Royal Scions is better than Narset. I'm going to cut these Narsets. We don't need Narset. Okay, get the Kesmina back in here. I almost missed Narset. We don't, that's not a strong card here. No, the Demir mill deck that we're going to be playing later is like trying to mill the opponent out and everything. It's it's got a lot of a lot of cards from the new set. Gosh. I mean, this hand is is almost perfect. We need to draw land. <laughs> it's almost perfect. But we got to draw land. Yeah, and Silky Mitts, I, I think this deck is really good. If you want you want to make a deck that's not Simic Food or, Ban or Golos, this is a really good deck. Come on, land. Okay. We're in there. I will invert the world to watch kings grov. Surely you must be fan. Now, obviously, best case scenario, we draw another land and we get to spark double loco. Correct. Yes. So, yeah. Demir Mill's like at the end of the night tonight. Yep. So hostile. We've just been playing a lot of Demir decks recently. A lot of Demir, a lot of Esper. So I put it towards the end for tonight because, like, yesterday we finished the stream with. Um, with a Demir than an Esper. Those blind to tyranny are lost. Just, I think, a little merriment is in order. Your new look is enchanting. Okay, went perfectly. Turn two Oko, turn three Oko. Opponent scoops it up. His spark double is like always impressive. Whether it's making two big Chandra, two Oko, two Royal Scions, two Mu Yanling. It's just a It's a good card. Alright, hopefully we can do that again on the draw. <laughs> I was thinking, what's worse than Oko this for in this format this morning? And then I started watching the stream. <laughs> hey, Escoria. <laughs> That's, yeah, that is, a, that is a pretty feared play. Turn two, Oko. Turn three, double Oko. It turns out Oko is still worth four mana. Especially Oko with an additional loyalty. That's worth four mana. Um, 
I'm not sure. I don't. I don't really remember exactly what we played against the other two times we've played it. So I don't remember if we've played against a specific black tech or not. Magnifacto with a Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel. Peaches for me. Millions of peaches. Peaches for free. Thank you so much. Our second sub of the day. Yeah, I need to be playing more Spark Double. Maybe maybe the Tamiyo needs to be a Spark Double in here. Who's more foolish? The fool or the fool who rules them? Let's broaden your existence. So light up the stage. Get those land drops. Please don't have another one mana spell. Oh no. Well. That's pretty good. The good news is the opponent only has two more cards. Remain blind. So if those two cards aren't very impactful. Yeah, we need to find a flame sweep. My students are loyal geniuses. Sarkin. So, you know, they have... They have some tension between Castle and Banneret. Shouldn't have got rid of that land last turn. Could have played Sarkin. So if I, you know, this is first strike. If I just block the banneret, it, getting rid of the fervent champion is going to be pretty tough. Doing this block means my opponent can pump banneret again, and we take five and go down to four, which obviously is rough. But we get fervent champion out of here, and we can start trying to gain life back with the help of interplanar beacon. Appreciate clean victory. I enjoy the proper application of knowledge. I just thought that was a bad auto tap. I was just thinking that. Which I guess I guess that's lethal with them having the extra one drop. And now it's definitely lethal. I was just thinking, man, that's a bad auto tap. But didn't matter. That was extra lethal there. Hmm. Did not find one of our three flame sweeps to, fin to stabilize. 
Yeah, I, I never really mind losing to mono red, especially right now. How mono red's a little weaker. You don't you don't see that much mono red. I don't mind losing to mono red too much. They had an, just an awesome you know turn three and everything, being able to get through my three three, kill my Oko, um, play a bunch more stuff like with the Steamkin. That happens. Like they they played their entire hand by turn three. I think this is a mulligan. And keep. Getting rid of a stomping grounds. We got a lot of double blue wakas. Um, paid, paid subs auto renew. Yes. But you can cancel any time. Twitch Prime subs do not auto renew at all, so you have to uh, you have to do the Twitch Prime each month. Good job, Zuan. Good job. Exploding donut with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much, there, exploding donut. Uh, yeah, that's the plan. We're going to play five matches per deck. Um, I may play just a tiny bit more with this deck than five. You know, maybe we'll go six or seven with this deck. But yeah, that's kind of the plan is, is at least five matches with each deck. Hey, Noxious. Welcome to the channel. That's my goal to help inform y'all as well. So yeah, if you ever have questions, just you know, throw them out in the channel. So I can either pay two life to play Sarkin, or I can use the goose and the food. We're going to just go ahead and go with the two life. It allows us to keep the goose untapped if need be. And also the food can be sacrificed for three life uh, next turn anyway. So we can actually, you know, we can be up a life on that exchange. Please do not attack with Rimrock Knight opponent. Please just don't attack with Rimrock Knight. Just don't do it. Okay. They didn't attack with anything, so that's good. And I guess that's the other good part about not using the food is that we'd have another mana for the next turn. If you haven't heard of me, then get ready to meet my flames. Are you ready? No pressure. <laughs> I feel like I don't really need to. There we go. I could have minus three and got rid of those. I feel like I don't didn't really need to do that. That is true. I did. I did leave my opponent the ability to Ember Cleave. Oh, how much do we want Flame Sweep? Uh, Rakdos Knights. Probably want to play them all. Hey, Blind! What's up? 
<laughs> Thank you so much there, Blind. Thanks for that resub. Let's... What, what's my card that I'm cutting? Big Chandra. Fourth sub of the day. What's your opinion on Karn's Bash and Walker's deck? Is it even worth it to include one or two of them? Um, as you can tell how I don't have it in here, I don't think it's worth it in this deck uh, with like the different mana requirements. I don't really want the colorless land. I don't think it's worth it. Car you know, because Karn's Bastion costs four mana, plus you have to tap it, so you know, five mana to activate. And I just feel like that's, you know, it's basically, that's taking up your entire turn, and I just don't think that there's many turns that it's worth it to, to do that. <laughs> it is not my birthday today. Good Black Lance Paragon. With my sister by my side, I do not fear the let me synthesize the facts. I guess I don't even have red mana right now for flame sweep. Gilded Goose can provide red mana. For later. Oh, are you okay? Oh, I think. Oh, shocked and shattered. This is going to be a lot of damage. So we're going down to nine. So Flame Sweep does not kill the Fervent Champion. What? Do. That's not the color I said. Red. I know who I am, and no one is telling me what. I've always wanted to make a really. So I'm gonna do the the Chandra minus to be able to kill that fervent champion. And definitely hoping that they do not have a haste creature. No. Or that. So we just got to untap with Chandra, spark double Chandra. That would have been ideal. All right, drawing Oko is pretty ideal too. Every tale about me is absolute nonsense. One bite, and all your yeah, drawing Oko is pretty ideal. Yay! No more removal. Surely you must be famished. Those blind to tyranny are lost. Just gaze into my face and put on your And double oak go. Looks like they ran out of gas. instruction and prepare for war join my cause 
make it just a army of three threes. Oh dear. Yeah, you can be an elk too. Let's broaden your existence. They can all be elks. <laughs> Type one to, to remember the goose who gave his life for this. That was a that was an incredibly important goose there. Focus on what matters. Do not challenge a raging river. So I still I can't steal the knight because they can activate the knight in response, so I can't steal the knight. Welcome to the feast. Your new look is enchanting. I mean, can they kill me with Ember Cleave? Nope. Okay, good. Yeah, maybe I should have just made the knight a 3 3. Would have been the safest. So they don't have the ability to ember cleave and activate knight. All right. Three and two. Let's play another one with this deck. We got a 12 hour stream today. Let's play another one. Uh, yeah, against Golos, so I take out um, I bring in Ashiok, Flame Sweep, Disdainful Stroke to so bring all those in. And then take out Paradise Druid, Kasmina, Tamiyo. Mu Yanling. Alright, no red mana. Yeah, to do that, all you have to do is you just click all of your attackers first, and then you can click what you want them to attack. If you want, if you want to have multiple attackers attack the same thing. So just and just click all your attackers first, and then tell them where to attack. Take out the druid because we're bringing all the flame sweeps. And it, it's not like the it's not really the best in combat against a bunch of zombies. Walk with me, sing with me. I will enlighten you. Surely Usually I'd make the grazer a three three. I don't know why, I just kind of feel like making a food token here, though. I 
No, I don't think the goalless matchup's too difficult. We lost to it one time earlier because I, I messed up game one. We should have we should have we should have won the match, but I messed it up. Quite the nibble. There are so many mysteries to meditate. And There's all of our red mana. I'm scared of that. Thanks, Narset. Thank you very much. All right, and and yeah, it looks like I should have just made the grazer at three three. We've not drawn very well this game, you know, drawing Sarkin Sarkin. <laughs> that was not... Those are two pretty terrible draws. Those blind to tyranny are lost. They just can't see it. Nature's true power. Cool. Two mana, discard a card. I invite you to change your ways. <laughs> Such violence is upsetting. LT Gaming. The wind whispers secrets. With All the sub. Do is listen. Oh dear. Quell your temper. Thank you so much there, LT Gaming. I really appreciate that. there. Uh, okay, if only we had mana to play our spells. Loyalty is fickle and fragile. If only we had mana to play our spells. I am really glad my opponent did that. Honestly. I am glad they just got rid of their Oko. I'd respond better to kindness. Okay. Courage is the greatest virtue. Aye, with the knowledge to direct it. Yeah, they're just going to hold this and next turn and, and get a ton of. Get a ton of forests. Take to the sky, my friend. Oh, thanks, LT Gaming. Okay, we need to find more red mana. No, all, all Planeswalkers are legendary. Retreat is a valid strategy. 
No. Ugh. We got four cards we can't play. Yeah, these have not been good draws. If we just draw a red land, we have a chance. It'd be nice if my opponent doesn't have anything in hand. Never mind. What are you doing? That's not a toy. There, it's gone. Okay. Played against us earlier. doing these are just fingernail clippers stop I want a couple disdainful strokes what did I take out last time So I can't, I can't remember what I took out. I think I did, just took out like the Kasminas, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I cut, I cut Kasmina, Tamiya, brought in Disdain. Yeah, okay. Because want to reduce their, the power of their um, Disdainful Strokes. Isn't Chandra less appealing in this match because of enemy Nissa? No, not necessarily. It's still this is still an Oko match. You know, still a lot of Okos around, and Chandra can take out Planeswalkers. You know, sweep a, a board of Elks. Chandra is still just awesome. Never really played Nissa. The I guess the big the big reason why I know Nissa is because I I don't like Nissa whatsoever against Bangolos, and Bangolos is just the most popular deck, and I think Nissa is pretty terrible in that matchup. Between you know letting your lands just get you know die to sweepers and stuff like that. Like the the strength of this deck is that we are good against sweepers and um, are pretty good against. Uh, Bant Golos in that way, and, and Nissa goes completely against that. Do not challenge a raging river. I only have one island. As far as ultimating Mu Yanling, I only have one island right now.
but that's still draw two cards every turn. We're going to try to be a little greedy here. <clears throat> and see if we can tick up Mu Yanling again before we ultimate. With our opponent not doing anything this last turn. And with us having a counter spell. Basically, we may draw Royal Scions. That's good. Open your mind to the possibilities of the cosmos. Open your heart to the magic that dances around you. Your new look is enchanting. Oh, I should I could have shocked him breeding pool because of I yeah, I guess I should have I kind of forgot about Breeding Pool drawing me that extra card. I should have just played the Breeding Pool instead of the Forest. <laughs> I already just forgot about that. Kill all my creatures. No, Bri, I'm not. Draw a card. Um... Synthesize the facts. Do not challenge a raging river. <sighs> I mean, so I can have, I, have, I can have Oko give them the the food and steal the Hydra. That kills my Raise Oko, though. It to my face and put on your true shape. Should have left island, an untapped island. Why is that? Why should I left an untapped island instead of drawing a card? Yeah, like my. My Oko has too much stuff to do. Your actions are not so we, yeah, I'd like to elk the wolf. I'd like to steal the Hydra. Okay. I 
I can't really imagine they have nothing to play. They gotta just be holding, what, like counter spells over there or something? They're gonna Aether Gust. I want to be able to play for Mystical Dispute. Okay, they have Disdainful Stroke. Uh, yes, Hawkeye, you're knocking stuff down over here. Okay, just go back and knock more stuff down. Um... I assure you our deal is worth your while. All right, I'll be right back. In this land, we are all connected. My elemental friend. I Wallow in your deceit. Oh, come on, Agent of Treachery. Plan for the trials ahead. Asian treachery is so good. The focus and keep an open mind. I'll shear the wool from your eyes and spin you clarity. Oh dear. Well, okay, you can only steal cr creatures that have power three or less. So I couldn't plus on one of the on one of their two creatures and steal the other. That's just not an option. So that's I just you can't do that, Razzle, Basically, so I have to plus and steal the same thing. I mean, good chance that I should have stolen the, the turn before if I would have used, you know, that would have got rid of my Oko, but if I would have, I you know, I tried taking up to be able to keep Oko alive, obviously I didn't know we were drawing more Okos, but if I would have stolen the Hydra the turn before, the Hydra would have been, you know, a blocker, which would have, which would have helped me quite a bit. Um...
They're killing Narset. I must train harder. I feel like I didn't play this game very well somewhere. I don't know. I was kind of distracted with Hawkeye and everything. I feel like I was. I didn't play this. I'm sure, I'm sure going back, like if I go back and watch it, there there's going to be spots that I wish I would have done different things. Yeah, we started with a couple of Sahilis in the deck and and ended up taking them out. I'm sure I messed up in spots there. I just don't know exactly where. I don't remember. All right, I'm going to play one more to break the tie. We go get back, get back to a positive record. Haven't had the best record here today with the deck. I don't really feel I don't feel worse about the deck at all. Yeah, I think we were okay until Agent of Treachery. Agent of Treachery is just a completely messed up magic card. Just completely messed up magic card. Uh, no, I, I do not want to play Ember Cleave requesting beast whatsoever. Again, that's the the point of the deck is to be really good against sweepers and against creature removal. I do not want to play enough creatures for Ember Cleave at all. That's yeah, that'd be that'd be a completely different deck. Um What do we replace? I don't like we were we definitely we replaced one Sahili with a a third Royal Scions. I don't know exact I don't remember exactly where we replaced the other one with. So we're gonna try for turn three Sarkin. We draw an untapped land. Or actually, let's let's just get this Royal Scions in play and start looting and looking for more lands. Ready, Will? By your side, I am. I enjoy the proper application of knowledge. Looks like Simic Food, like the Simic deck may be the, the new popular deck. I mean, this is our third time to play it here in these seven matches. The I hadn't been seeing that much of the Simic deck down. recently, but out one bite, looks like this may be your cares are gone. the new popular thing. My plan is crystallizing. Yeah, escape escape from the wilds is not is not a bad card. It, it would be okay in a deck like this. I I don't think it's really better than anything that we're playing though. <laughs> Surely you see the humor here. I think instead of Tamio play escape. I don't know, Tamio gets to attack and everything too. Stay away from my brother. Yeah, like the the more planeswalkers with Sarkin, the better.
what is my strategy here? I fight with a dragon's rage! So of course Sarkin can just turn Turn the 4-4 into an elk. Or sorry, Oko can turn the 4-4 into an elk. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, Krasis is a difficult card to deal with. You know, we, just, we have Oko. I protect that which cannot protect itself. Uh, Escape of the Wilds doesn't really deal with Krasis. The land shall conquer you. Um, I guess Jeskai fires is probably better than Grixis fires. You get Deafening Clarion. I think it's going to be more consistent. You have you get to fairy. I think a little you, get, you know, you get better sweepers with Clarion, Time Wipe, that kind of stuff. So yeah, probably Jess guy. I'm pretty surprised they did not elk my dragon. I am, in fact, I'm very surprised they did not elk the dragon. That honestly doesn't make any sense. That's why. Never mind. I will Never mind. Consume you. A dragon would rather die than lose. I was just thinking, like, I was like, that that mistake's going to cost them this game, but no, they have a brazen borrower, so they're good. All right, I'm feeling like I should be playing more of these. You know, like the more that I, you know, I'm getting some more practice here against these Simic decks. I feel like I should be playing more of these kind of cards. Less these. Let's play more of this blue-green interaction than what we have been. Hey, Radical Guru. Going really good. Yeah, Clarion's the best sweeper. Against aggro. Wait, if I would have just sacked that, I would have got rid of this borrower, wouldn't I? Maybe I should have done that. I was just I was just gonna be using the goose to make another food, to still be able to play Sarkin next turn. Maybe I should have just sacked the food though and just gotten rid of borrower.
Uh, yeah, Jeskai would have a lot better matchup against a McFlash than Grixis does. Grixis is, is more expensive and clunkier. Jeskai has Teferi. The problem with me countering this back is that then they can, like they could slay, like I could play Vela somewhere there, but then if they play Nissa, I don't really know what I'm doing against Nissa. Mu Yanling's not going to be good enough against Nissa. So honestly, maybe I should have just waited there and just passed. The thing about, you know, just passing is they get the borrower. Alright, I... Magic's a difficult game, you know? I definitely kind of regret it a lot of plays within this game. Like, I, I really wish I would have just sacked the food and then just played more patient. Especially, you know, like, if I could see how my opponent was just going to sit back on counter spells and not do anything. Certainly would have played this game a whole lot differently. Yep, it's a difficult, real difficult game here. So I think they probably had that Nissa. They wanted to wait for Negate. I'm pretty glad I just waited on the Veil of Summer, honestly. Like, that's a really good trade for me. Now we get double Oko. Those blind to tyranny are lost. Just revel with your king, wild and sovereign and free. Um... I don't want to do this. I could turn their borrower and one of my tokens into 3-3s. Three I could just make two 3-3s three attack for 6. No, I kind of like that. No, I don't like that plan. Let's broaden your existence. No, I don't want to steal because that would take that would take an an Oko. Oko is much more valuable than this thing. Your new look is enchanting. They could have like another Nessa for more haste three threes. But they don't get like the free attack in the air. Obviously their best card is Krasis. It's the the one card I really don't want them to have because it refills their hand and everything there. <clears throat> I want to draw, you know, my top end, Chandra, Sarkin. 
that kind of stuff. Well, it must be nice. They had their best card. Can we have any of our best cards? That's not bad. That's not bad. I guess. You know what? Whatever. We'll just auto tap. That's fine. We'll just tap those. I know 88 ways to defeat. Put thoughtfulness before action. Prove your skills, and I can teach you even more. So I can't quite I can't quite steal <laughs> Krasis. Let's broaden your existence. It's gonna make it a four six that doesn't have flying that I can block with these. Um yeah, one of these one of these is spark double. I would love to trade one of these 3-3s three for that. Obviously, we want to triple block, because if they have a bounce spell, they could blow it up. You can't have two bounce spells, right? Oh, come on. Uh, hey, Nightwing. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably do... Uh, that hurt really bad. <clears> hey, <throat> yeah, good job. Yeah, you got you 5 would standard FNM last week. Good job. Um, yeah, I, I'm sure I'll do uh, Cauldron of Eternity soon here oh, for like no a Tuesday promise. Bruise Day. So Sarkin is my better card, it's, but it gets countered by more things than Scions. That's, that was kind of an unfortunate Narset putting four good cards down to the bottom. Yeah, that's that's what I was worried with. That was what, that's what I was worried about. Do not challenge a raging river. So that's unfortunate. We drew a land, and the next four cards are all planeswalkers, so three go to the bottom. Oh, nice to draw one of those and, you know, put a land or two to the bottom. That's not how our life went there. I will invert the world to watch kings grovel and worms rule. <laughs> Surely you see the humor here.
So I thought about not blocking to be able to kill their Oko. But we can still kill their Oko, we just gotta get rid of our Goose. In order to do that. Obviously we're in <clears throat> we're in some trouble here with these three ones. Mind and body should move in unison. That was five planeswalkers in a row. I have just the trick for this. Real Science is actually really nice. Get to pump this borrower, make it a five power attacker. You delay our quest no further. Put your heart behind every attack. <laughs> I know it's tough to play Vanifar with Oko in the format. Guy is my Thanks, domain. Radical Guru. Surely you must be famished. So I want to. Uh, I want to play the Steam Vent so Gilda Goose can make another. Yeah, I'll just do that. I want to play it so Gilda Goose can make another food token, but then I also want to keep it in hand for the Royal Scions. Oh, they only had the blue mana to play one of those. I'm gonna swap for Brazen Borrower. Why do you cross violence elsewhere? This has been a real long game. I'm down to seventeen minutes. Opponent's at 20. Oh, this is game two. At least it's game two. All right, let's see if this resolves. Hooray. Yes. Krasis, yeah, the, the creatures keep the counters if you turn it into an elk. So turning Krasis into an elk would just make it a 9-9. Nine -nine. Um, yeah, so we could make turn it into a 9-9, nine -nine, but... All right, well, having, like, these negates and, um... Uh, 
This negates and Veil of Summers was definitely nice. I'm glad we brought in the Veil of Summers against our opponent. Yeah, Sam, our deck doesn't necessarily, like, it, it can close out games quickly. It, it depends. It's so, basically our only way to close out games quickly is Sarkin. You know, there, there's times that we, you know, curve out into Sarkin and, and can um, end games quickly, but not all the time. Please do not have Oko on turn two. Please do not have Oko. Please do not have Oko on turn two. Yep, yep, changed the list a little bit. Yeah, I updated all the, the lists uh, for today for our other decks. Here. Yay, not Oko. Wow, no other land? Wow. I think I should keep Negate up instead of just play Grazer, get another land into play. I think I'll feel bad if I play Grazer and then my opponent plays Oko. But it looks like they're going to really be relying on Goose, so... Hopefully we can ramp into six mana Chandra. Uh, negate's good, but I want to land. I want to play six. Yeah, I want to play six mana Chandra and then wipe the board, leave them on one land. Hey, original, it's going really good. It's going really good. We're about to finish our first deck of the day here. With hopefully a win. Hmm. Well, that card's good. The problem with playing Sarkin is if they have a bounce spell for the token. Feel the heat of my flame. Behold. Like ideally, you know, so I could have gone Mu Yanling here. Ideally, I would have had like the one more mana to, to be able to protect Sarkin or protect this thing. If if um if we would have drawn the land there, I would have done that, you know, played Sarkin and tried to have Veil of Summer back up. I'm certain you're quite charmed to meet me. Blech. Gaze into my face and put on your true shape. Gosh. Yeah, it would have been good to have Veil of Summer. Or negate. Uh my opponent played around the gate perfectly. Ugh. Come on, watch this. 
Sarkin's just gonna die. I, mean, I could chump block to keep it alive, but. I have lost. Sindaris Games with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much there, Sindaris. Yeah. I appreciate that. So I could try the same thing again. Sarkin minus. They turn my dragon into an elk. I get to double block the questing beasts. The wind whispers secrets. All you two not challenge. Just play the Mu Yanling first this time. Maybe I should have just done this last time. I don't know. Uh -huh. Thanks, Andaris. I appreciate that. But yeah, now my opponent has Anoko in play. I think a little merriment is in order. Uh, that was a critical land drop that we missed. They've done a good job drawing three lands in a row. Getting out of their one lander. At least my opponent didn't attack when they should have. Respect nature, and it will offer assistance. With the questing beast. So we get to minus Mu Yanling. Hey Dr. Dents, games are going pretty good. Now I have two blockers for a questing beast with like the two different four fours. I invite you to change your ways. Look to the skies. The sky is my domain. So of course they have they have the Gilded Goose Gilded Geese. They can block. If they want to try to keep Oko alive. I know I could have I could have ticked up Mu Yanling on one of them to make it lose flying, but honestly I, I like getting the geese out of here. I like you know give them another like one other uh, Oko activation. You're blind to your folly. <clears throat> and here I so yeah we can play Chandra. We have to shock for that though. We've been doing a lot of shocking. I kind of feel like just holding up Vela Summer. Don't know exactly for what. Okay, they did not have any bounce or anything. You know, I thought they would have done that before. Anyway. Your new look is enchanting. I'm just gonna act. I'm gonna activate Goose and gain three life. You know, I'm just gonna activate Goose, sack the, the token immediately, gain three life. Come on, I will 
consume you. I think Chump, I think Grazer is more valuable than two loyalty on Sarkin and two life. See, Grazer can block that thing now. Four and three. So there we go. A good, long, couple-hour league there. The last match took a little longer. Um, so I guess that was closer to two and a half hours. Um, but, you know, 12-hour day today. So we played a couple extra matches there with Teamer Walkers. We kind of did that, that pattern, though. We went, like, win-win... And then, or no, we went win, loss, win, win, loss, win, loss, win, loss at the end. Um, all right, so that's Teamer Walkers. Uh, I still really like this deck. So, you know, like this deck was built on, um, on like, you know, just focusing on the Planeswalkers so that, you know, and being able to fly over the zombies with, like, you know, thinking about Bant Golos, which is like the number one deck. Um, being able to fly over the zombies and not be weak to their sweepers. You know, like, that's that's something that I didn't want this deck. You know, like, this is a deck that, um, you know, doesn't get your creatures destroyed by time wipe and um, and everything like that. And, like, the, the giant sweeper. Because our creatures are the planeswalkers that we use with Sarkin. So we saw a lot of Simic. We played against Simic... What, Either four times, three or three or four times in the seven matches. So a lot of Simic. I think four times. We played against Golos once. Um, and then a couple other decks, like Mono Red. We lost like so a couple of our losses were really close. The the Mono Red one could have gone the other way. Maybe I think I could have made better decisions the game one against Mono Red. The the loss that we had um, we played against Golos twice. So I, I think Simic three times, Golos twice, Mono Red once, and then some other deck. Um, the the loss I had against Golos, it was definitely my fault. I I just threw away the the first game. I I did a wrong decision with Oko um, by not turning a giant into an elk. Whenever I knew they had a giant sweeper in hand, I just kind of forgot that that giant was going to survive the giant sweeper, and so I I really messed up that game. But that should have been ours. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll be building a Cauldron of Eternity deck next Tuesday, so in six days. Um, but anyway, so, you know, basically 4-3, real close to winning a couple of those other ones, too. This deck's just really good. This is a deck that I'm pretty confident in, uh, ranking up and everything. Uh, it's my preferred rank-up deck of choice right now. You know, we only went 4-3, but like I said, I think that that a couple of those were, were my fault that, you know, just different decisions, you know, certainly that one decision, we would have been five and two, just, just doing that one, that one decision differently. 
But that's how Magic goes. Magic's a difficult game. You know, some of those other, there's a couple of those other games I was talking about that, that I wish that we would have made different decisions and everything. Um, uh, again, if you, if you missed this earlier, uh, again, tomorrow, uh, because I didn't have time because we got ready for the 12 hour stream today, but tomorrow morning I will be making a sideboard guide for this deck on my Patreon page. Um, and for those of y'all that are brand new, or those of y'all that don't, don't know, I just made a brand new Patreon yesterday. Um, I'm going to be putting written content over there, and also, like, so I'll be have the sideboard guide for this deck tomorrow, and then also tomorrow I'll talk about, like, what, what, uh, some, you know, stuff, some stuff about the BNR announcement, you know, like, what, what could happen, uh, some more stuff over there, um, like, if Field of the Dead gets banned, what, what are going to be good cards and stuff like that. Um, so there we go. Um, no, 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 we just started our 12-hour stream, that was our, our first deck there. Um, anyway, we got four other decks that are really sweet that we're going to play and ranked also. So if you're watching on YouTube, I hope you all check those out. And also, I hope, and uh, for the link to the Patreon, if you're watching on YouTube, just go to the in, just go to the description of the video, the video description. There's a link to the Patreon there. Um, and then uh, there we go. So if you're, um, also if you're watching on YouTube, <laughs> this, this is what I meant to say. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there and feel free to leave comments as well. I always like seeing the comments over there. But thank you so much for watching some Teamer Walkers, and I'll see you for the next video.